morning everybody jason here happy thursday hope you guys are all having a great day amidst all this craziness why can't i click on that there we go all right so starting off the day down uh, about ten thousand ten thousand um so today I did roll out a few of my positions that were pretty close to where Tesla's at this morning. And we still have a few more. So these 1030s were within, what, $37 of where Tesla's sitting right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys rolled out. And I'll roll them out a little ways. So... And especially because they're just expiring in a couple of weeks here. So um, rather than sitting on this and I'm like, in reality, I don't think we would close anywhere near the 1030. But uh, one, I definitely could be wrong. And two, with more time, the only thing, the only negative thing is that I'm waiting a little bit more. I'm waiting a little bit longer to collect the same money which is fine and i don't have to worry about it um as far as the short-term price action so we're going to uh, buy back the ones we sold sell back the ones we bought and go out a few weeks and we're actually going to go out till january and Okay, wait for this to scroll up for half an hour or so. There we go. And we'll get those same plays, sell the 1030s. And buy back the 1025s, I believe that's what we had. Yep. And we'll grab a couple credits here. So two, Let's see if we can get filled at $55. And we'll wait a couple seconds, see if this gets filled. If not, we'll lower it a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, Tesla's coming down, so... Which is the reason we probably couldn't get the 55. And we'll just take less and less until we get filled here. Oh, cannot be canceled. That means, yep, it did fill there. So at this point, I will keep my thousands. Still have these 975 super upside down. Well, not really upside down. We're not in the money yet on those guys. So my thousands I will keep. Uh, we have another week on these, but I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with these. We'll get everything above a thousand rolled out, so we'll buy those. Sell these guys back. Same place. 1020s. And Still puts us forty dollars out of the money, but gives us a long ways. And those were ten twenties, yeah. Okay. So we'll sell some seven or 1020s by the ones below it. And looks like we should be able to get about 40 bucks a piece on those. So we'll try 38 just to get filled. wait a few seconds here and the reason I'm pushing them all the way out till that date um, I don't know what's gonna happen here in the near term so we can have you know we can have a week or two of this Omicron uh, digested whatever um, after that digestion is done we should return some relative normalcy and whatever happens in the short term doesn't really matter we'll come up to production numbers delivery numbers um, earnings past the 12 9 
all the relatively relative soon craziness so i think that is it yep and then we are rolled out till january um the only other ones i may push those nope i don't think i need to push anything more at this point and then so the other question is our 1200 call uh calendars want to take a look at those so with that i always take a look at option strat and basically we just need to know the strike dates and the price so we can do that for any positions and i have another one in one of my tastyworks accounts so i'll look at that on another um another set of dates they're basically expiring a week earlier and again option strat we will build our call calendar spread slide these guys up to 1200s where they're at and or 23rd 31st so here's what we're looking at we're right about this point here and let's go with um, the actual value uh, and I think we paid like $600 for these so basically even if we came down to 1050 um, and held around there we are still Pretty much in the same place we're at and if we have digestion to the upside we could be about double uh, where we're at so for me I'm gonna hold those if you're worried we're gonna go down to a thousand or something crazy like that I mean thousands not very I guess it's not very far away at this point but if you think we're gonna go do a thousand and hold down there you may want to exit this trade so completely up to you um, I don't think we're going to hang down at these levels for very long. We typically don't. So, um, completely up to you. And this is my other short dated one. So, same kind of thing here. I think I ended up paying $430 for this. So, I'm willing I'm willing to hold this. We could be all the way down to, again, around $1,000. I'm still pretty close to break even. I'm willing to risk that for... Um, potentially twice the upside um, like a hundred percent where from where we're at right now for a week or two see if this digestion happens and people calm down and market kind of normalizes and we end up in the mid 1100s or 1200s right so that's that's kind of still what I'm shooting for I mean that is what I'm shooting for uh, too many good things coming up and just the fact it's it's just another variant and we've seen what happened in the past. I guess it's on top of Powell and, and everything else, uh, that stuff kind of coming out. So, but for me, that's what I'm doing. Um, if you don't like the potential, uh, moving down some in the next couple of weeks and you think we're going to see like a thousand, I might be prudent to exit these. So, but up to you guys. All right. Um, I think that is it for me today. Small accounts still haven't done anything. Still just hanging out. We've got time on those guys. Uh, as soon as I make a move there, I uh, will let you know. And if I choose to close out any of my $1,200 call spreads, I'll post that in Discord as well. All right, guys. Love you. And let's make a lot of money.